Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hey guys, I thought of bringing you some factorization involving fractions under the topic of algebra. And um, this is one of the questions that is common that examiners want to ask, want uh, usually ask in an exam. And with this kind of a problem, you'll be having about four marks to benefit from. So now let us look at this question. Say so simplify the following. You have got 3x plus 6 divided by 6 divided by x squared plus 2x over 2. So now how do you approach this? Now there is one common error that students usually do. Now let me expand it so that uh, I can make it clear for you. And please do not be tempted to do this, um, this error. So what's students look, usually do is they look at that 6 and look at that 6 and they're like oh if it's dividing therefore I can come and cancel out this 6 and cancel out that and I have a 1 so in the first one they will have 3x plus 1 they do the same thing on the second and they look at that 2 and they look at that 2 and they cancel out that and then they'll say divided by uh, x squared plus x you know that is how tempting it is for you to solve it like that but remember this is wrong that is not how you approach it you cannot just divide by 6 like that why because when you're just dividing and cancelling for example cancel the 6 what about the 3x because also what you do on the 6 you must do the 3 again when you're cancelling that what about the x squared because whatever you do on the 2x you must also do on the x squared the reason why i'm saying that is because in between these you have a positive if it was also a negative it was going to be the same thing the only time you are allowed to cancel like that is when this problem you change it it becomes 3x times 6 over 6 if it becomes a multiplication sign then you can cancel it to be correct and your answer there will simply go 3x okay but if ever even here if it was a times that's when you can cancel but as long as there is a positive sign or a multiplication sign i mean a positive sign or a negative sign do not do not be tempted to cancel but how do you go about that is why the topic is called factorization you need to factorize first so you look at the first uh, uh, fraction in the top you have a 3 and you have a 6 what is common in 3x plus 6 you can see that 3 is common and what you're simple doing is like you are dividing uh, by 3 so you'll be having your 3x and you'll be having your 6 so when we divide by the common factor which is 3 so the 3 will cancel to remain with the x the 3 will cancel into 6 to remain with the 2. So that's why I'm going to be having x plus 2. Remember to check your answer. You can expand and say 3x plus 2. You expand there and you expand there to say 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 2 is 6. Expanding shows you that if you go back to the original then you did factorizing correctly correctly so that is the first part that we're doing and then we are saying this is over six and we are dividing by again we do the same thing um 
on the next part we find out by factorizing the, the numerator which is the top part what is common in x squared and 2x you can see that the x is repeating now there is a power 1 there when when it's just x it means it's power 1 take the smallest power which is power 1 so you are dividing now uh, x squared over x and you are dividing 2x over x so when we say x squared it's simple like saying x times x here that is x squared so when you're cancelling one will remain and in 2x only two will remain so you are going to be having therefore uh, x on the outside it will be x plus 2 and then this is divided by 2 now when you've done that you continue with it remember you're simplifying now this particular 3 can cancel because it's multiplying remember I told you that as long as there is a multiplication and the, and the 3 is protected uh, by the bracket there you are allowed now to cancel the 3 and the 6 to get a 2 but if it's confusing you can leave it like that for now and move on to say you have a division sign you need to change the division sign into a multiplication sign so the moment the division sign changes into a multiplication sign the two will go to the top and what was on the top will go to the bottom so that you'll be having in this case if i just write it down remember now it's a multiplication sign so you will have on the other one is 2 over x and it's x plus 2 that is what the multiplication sign does and then the other one remains as is which is 3 x plus 2 over 6 remember now it's multiplication so when it's like that it becomes easier now to uh, clear it up whereby we can see that the 2 can come and divide on the 6 2 into 6 you get your 3 and this particular 3 will come and cancel that particular 3 remember I said there is a times there and again if you watch carefully the bracket is x plus 2 will cancel the other bracket as the x plus 2 so the actual or uh, the final answer you are having on top all the things are 1 so you'll have 1 over don't just say nothing it's 1 over at the bottom you cancelled everything except that x so it is 1 over x as the answer students sometimes they'll say there is nothing on top and they get them and they write their answer as just x but don't forget when you are cancelling you are remaining with 1 1 1 1 1 and you can see that x is below the division line so it is 1 over x also you can prove this answer there is a way you can prove it now how do you go about proving that you go to the original now in your original you choose any value for example eg you say let x be equal to let's choose any number let's say 17 so if x is equal to 17 so here you have 3x in other ways it is 3 remember it's 3 times x so it will be 3 times 17 or you can put a bracket like this and say 3 17 and then where there is x squared you are also putting 17 squared where there is 2x you are saying 2 17 so let us use that with our calculator and see what it is going to give us so here as i say it is 3 times or 3 into 17 remember 17 is just what I chose to use you can choose any number and it's divided by uh, 17 squared sometimes it's, it's always wise to put a bracket there and say 17 squared but in this case it didn't, doesn't change anything plus 2 into 17 divided by 2 so when you've done that your answer there you can see it says 1 over 17 so here the answer will be 1 over 17 that is the 
original one we go to the one uh, our final answer remember our final answer here was 1 over x but remember we said x is equal to 17 so it will be 1 over where this x is 17 so you can see now that my final answer and when I put a 17 there it also gave 1 over 17 when this matches like that you can see that you you simplified correctly so that is how you can prove it now I hope this will have benefit to you remember to join our YouTube and our Facebook channel so that you can be able to be notified every time we post these videos thank you I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as I said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the textbook as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.